And I'm assuming one of those chromosomes being the Y chromosome has rapidly changed in mice. Uh, I don't, I, I don't know exactly off the top of my head, which chromosomes have fused, but there are six, I think different populations of different characters. Okay. So you, so you're looking there. at fusions. Okay. But I, I'm discussing specifically the Y chromosome when you consider overall gene content, size differences in architecture between mm -hmm. humans and chips, it is, especially in light of the data in 2024, where they have the most sophisticated genetic sequencing data now available in the Y chromosomes of humans and the great apes. It's less than 30% the same. The burden of proof is on you guys today to demonstrate why biological evolution is best supported it, by the evidence. That because, point right there because is, is, is a point that should raise a little bit of doubt in very the, in the little because the, the, y, cro the y chromosome it, okay, it's very on. little because the y chromosome doesn't hold as 70 much weight. percent is a little the y, the y chromosome is a fraction of a percent of the genome and between us and chimpanzees when you compare the entire genome uh we're 98.6 percent similar so the but idea of what's going on areas, in this tiny yeah, part even in areas lays, that we're cast where doubt into everything else is just i'm going to i'm going to interject here because well, no, no, I, I just want to respond to that and then tony you can jump in okay even in sequences because you said that if you want to go at the 96 to 98 percent number in whole genome comparisons, Eric. Okay, but even in similar sequences between humans and chimpanzees, we find differences in gene regulation, differences in gene expression, epigenetic. So even in uh, sequences that are the same, we still find differences. 